If you have really chronically tense calves that you just, no matter what you try, you just cannot seem to loosen them up, here are three different things that you could try that maybe you haven't tried before. Now, many people know about this doorway stretch where you put the ball of the foot against the door jam, knee is straight, and you send your weight forward. Alternatively, people might use a book to put the ball of the foot on and lean forward. Something you may not know is that there's actually two calf muscles and the one that is deepest does not cross the knee joint. So to target this muscle, you're gonna do the same thing with your ball of the foot against the wall or on a book, but keep a little bit of a bend in the knee and then send your weight forward. And you might just find that that hits the spot. This next one is gonna have you sitting on the floor using a strap and it's gonna involve some contract, relax kind of technique. So you are gonna be putting a gentle stretch on the muscles, but then you're going to engage the muscles. And then when you relax them, you'll put a little bit of stretch on them again. So I'll show you. You can have the one leg bent out of the way. Put the strap at the ball of the foot Straighten that knee wherever you can. If you need to have a little bit of a bend, that's fine. Very gently with your hands, pull back on the foot. And then start to send the ball of your foot into the strap lightly. Depending on how it feels as you go, you can press a little harder, but just start slow and soft. No need to dive into the deep end too quickly. And your hands are just pulling back on the strap enough that your foot isn't winning, okay? Slowly release that pushing. Use your hands to pull a little bit more on the strap. And then slowly start to press that foot back into the strap. Hold that for 15, 20 seconds. And then when you're ready to stop, again, you just very slowly back off on that pressure that your foot is putting on the strap and very gently pull back on the strap with your hands. Now this next one is a similar concept to the one that we just covered. However, now we're adding more challenge by being upright on a step, adding the weight of your own body as well as balance to a degree. Another thing you could try, because the calf muscles are powerful muscles, is give them a little bit of exercise in a very controlled way. They may be craving more of an exertion stimulus than a stretching stimulus. So you can use your staircase at home or a step stool or a book, something very solid that's on a solid surface that isn't gonna tip, and make sure you have something nearby to hold onto. But the idea is that you're gonna step onto it, just at the front. Heels are hanging off the edge of the step. You can push up, you can push up, and then you can slowly lower down and you can continue to lower past the step just a little bit. Really listen to your body here. You don't wanna to do too much too quick, but some people might be able to go pretty low. But if your calf muscles are really tight, you will probably not be that low and you don't wanna overstretch it. And you'll just come back up and slowly lower down. Do that maybe five to ten times every once in a while as needed see what happens if your body really likes it keep going keep doing it if it's not making a difference try something else 
So I hope that at least one of those three at least began to scratch the itch for you. Maybe you felt something a little different than you have before with other stretches that you've tried. But anyways, it's always worth a go. You never know what's gonna do it. Just keep in mind that sometimes it's actually not a stretch that our tissues are craving, it's actually action. And remember that stretches don't have to be really intense to have an impact. All right, safe stretching. <laughs>